Okay, I'm going to jump straight into creating some custom actions in Photoshop. I've been into the studio and I've taken some pictures. Uh, and I want to quickly go through these pictures and grade them by rotating them left and right and by adding adjustment layers uh, to white balance these pictures at the same time. This can be done in Bridge, but I like to do it in Photoshop in case I just want to do a few extra bits of photo editing along the way. So I often create myself a custom set of actions to speed up this process. The first thing uh, I want to do is to rotate the pictures either clockwise or counterclockwise. I know that there are already sets in Photoshop that can do this, but I want to customize these keys so that I can very quickly just put my hand on the keyboard and use the F2, 3 and 4 keys. So here we go very quickly. I'm going to create a new set. I'm going to call it Photo Editing. I'm going to click the OK and in that I'm going to add a new set so my new action set in here is going to be called rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees I'm going to give it the uh, function key of F2 and now I'm going to just record this so whatever I do now is being recorded so I'm going to image rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise now because I only want that one particular action to happen, I'm now going to hit stop. So I'm going to create another new action here. I'm going to call it rotate clockwise 90 degrees. I'm going to give it the function key of F2 shift. I'm going to record it. So I'm now going to go image, image rotation 90 degrees clockwise and hit stop button so that that is two actions I've now created so simply now by pressing the F2 or the shift F2 I can rotate that image very quickly another thing I want to do is to put in uh, an adjustment layer I want to white balance these pictures very quickly but have the ability to go back to the adjustment layer if I need to very quickly so I'm going to click on my photo editing I'm going to click on the new action and I'm going to call it um, new adjustment layer levels I'm going to give it the function key of F3 and I'm going to record it so now I'm going to go to layer new adjustment layer and levels I'm going to have it so it affects the whole of my composition and I'm just going to call it levels 1 OK I'm then going to stop this action. So we have rotate left and right and we have the adjustment layer automatically put on there. So then all I have to do for white balancing is just to grab my white points, put it where I want to sample the white balance from and hey ho, that's nice and quick. Now sometimes I want to see what pictures are going to look like either cross processed or black and white. So I'm going to just create a new action call it black and white layer give it the function key of F4 hit record make sure my background is selected layer new adjustment layer black and white ok and there it is there is my black and white layer hit stop because I will do the adjustments afterwards so let's have a see I have my rotate left and right, new adjustment layer for levels to cross process and to black and white if needs be. So picking a picture, let's see what happens. I'm going to hit the F2 to rotate it, the F3 to add a new adjustment layer for my levels. I'm going to set the white points of the picture so there we go nice and quickly. I then want to cross process it so I'm going to do shift F3. Uh, I can adjust this so the opacity down to 50%. So now I'm going to turn off my adjustment layer that is the cross processing. I'm going to hit my F4 after selecting my background image and turn it to black and white. So here you can see I can now go back into my 
white balance level adjustment to be able to repick a white point on my picture. I have full control to go backwards and forwards and do whatever I like. So that's a very quick way of creating actions to rotate left and right, cross process and black and white. I can quickly go through my pictures and rotate them, add the adjustment layers that I need to to get them just the way that I want them to be. I have full control because they are on layers. I can then if I want to see what it looks like as black and white. I can see I need to adjust the white balance of the picture a little more. But I still also have the ability to click on my black and white and change any of the individual components to it to adjust the picture. So that's very quickly how to create custom actions to speed up your workflow on a particular job that you are doing.